Who done it? Who done it? I think we all love a whodunit, right? It's like um, sort of timeless, and uh, hopefully we've got something here that is uh, a bit different. It's got you know a lot of technology involved in it, and it sort of moves the thing. Uh, Lek, so yeah. Yeah, and I'm mindful of not revealing too much plot. We're always careful about these things. But basically, you've got a a, a group of uh, British uh, men and women who are staying in a hotel in New York, and something happens in that hotel, and suspicion falls on all these people back in their homes. Yes, exactly. And then it's sort of an international, sort of transatlantic uh, element to it. And um, yeah, we follow these five unassuming, unsuspecting people. Um, as everything unravels in their lives. He's... I'm not going to spill the beans on that. <laughs> but, um, no, but it, I found it tricky because the crew were all masked up and you couldn't socialise in a way that, you know, we were used to socialising or get to know people. So that barrier was funny and we had to do a lot of testing and, you know, but, uh, yeah, all of us got on and, yeah, hopefully we've got a good show. <laughs> do you... Some people struggle. I, I've talked to actors before who sometimes they, they genuinely don't know what's going on. Mm. in relation to a complicated film that they're in. Yes. <laughs> now, what about you? Did you did you know, or, I mean, it's a whodunit, so presumably lots of things are sort of left up in the air? Yeah, so we only got the latter episodes <clears throat> close to when we were shooting them. So we didn't know who, who done it, I suppose, until very close to shooting those episodes. But so you deliberately, that information deliberately kept from you? To, yeah, to an extent or for different reasons, I suppose, yeah, it was kept from us. But there's an element of it being useful because your character doesn't know, so, you know, it could be counterintuitive. Well, they know if they did it. Well, I suppose they do, yeah, but we... I, I can't expand <laughs> on that. <laughs> it's quite difficult, kind of, doing the publicising for a, a programme. It is, because you go, you, go, you go on to talk about it and then for me to say, oh, sorry, I can't yeah. talk about the details. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, else you want to talk about? What else about? you can't talk about? What else can't you talk about? I can talk about... I can, well, <laughs> should we talk about the play? Yeah, tell us about the play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a segue. <laughs> um, we're going back to do The Seagull. At the Pinter Theatre. Yeah, fabulous. Um, so, yeah, I, me and the rest of the cast are really excited to do the seagull. I've just back started stage, going back. Yeah. People watching theatre. Yeah. Have you, have you done anything with an audience in front of you, sort of post-pandemic? No, or, no, no, no. Not post-pandemic, but... I, I know I haven't. I have been to see some stuff and it's all very... I, f I find it quite... Um, yeah, I, just really looking forward to it and excited and grateful for the opportunity to go full circle with the play, because we'd done five performances of the seagull, and then everything went dark. So then, plays back June 29th at the Pinter Theatre. You can feel it, can't you? In, in theatre lands and, you know, around the country in cities, you can feel theatres opening up again and people kind of gradually going back. And the theatre, and we spoke about this, you know, a year and a half ago when everything was shut, shutting down, was devastated yeah. by the pandemic. And, you know, it's not just the actors, it's behind the scenes as well. I can only imagine that when you start rehearsals, it will just be joyful. Well, yeah, I hope so, and I hope people feel comfortable going back with any anything that's in place to, you know, look after people's safety and health. Um, in terms of mask wearing or whatever mandates are in place, then that are put in place by the individual theatres as well. Um, I think the industry, yeah, has been really uh, knocked by the pandemic, of course, because we need people. That's the that is theatre is having people together, isn't it? And on a tiny practical note, Tom, you're going back on stage doing a play you'd rehearsed and already performed in. Is the script all locked in? No Can you idea. just kind of open the box and out it comes again? I had, I have the script that is full of scribbles and notes from our first rehearsal process. And when we went dark, I closed the script and put it in a sort of box in the study. And I haven't opened it. So I think it'd be quite interesting to... When are you going to open it? When we start rehearsals again. Or oh, I might start from scratch. I don't know yet. Yeah. Do you think you'll get it back? Have you got that kind of long-term memory? Or I don't it... know. I've never done anything where, you know, it's been two years and you've had to go back to do it. So... Interesting. I can't recall it now if I, you know, was put on the spot. Well, good luck with that. I can't remember what happened yesterday. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> it would be disastrous. Six o'clock this morning is a struggle for me. It's been really lovely talking to you. Thanks good luck with me. it. Um, and good luck with the rehearsals. And we didn't give anything away, so you and did we well. we didn't. We yeah. did well. You did well at yes. not saying anything. We're okay. Well done. Um, Tom Harris, their suspicion will be available on Apple TV+. Plus.